With the Ionic, we can create stackable modals that use the native iOS styling and even have swipe to close gestures. We can even open up multiple of these modals and they'll continue to stack on top of each other. So the basic way to achieve this is to supply the swipe to close and presenting element options to uh, the modal when you're creating it. But exactly how you do this will depend on which framework you're using. We're going to go through examples for Stencil.js, Angular and React in this video. So we'll start with the Stencil.js example. That's what I have on the screen right now. And you can see here that we're creating a modal in the standard way with the modal controller. Uh, but we've also supplied swipe to close and set that to true. And we've also supplied a presenting element that is specified as this dot host element, which is a reference to the app home element here. So basically we're just referring to the element that uh, the modal is being created inside. So, so far this is easy enough, but we also need to take a look at how we've implemented the app modal component. So that's the component that is launched here when we actually create the modal. So of course we want to do this to set up what we want the modal to look like, but you'll notice in here, if we want to lo uh, launch additional modals, how we set that up is a little bit different. And uh, now in our add modal method for the modal page, we still have the swipe to close option set to true but we've changed presenting element to await modal controller dot get top. And that's going to get the top modal that is currently on the screen and use that as the element that the modal is being displayed inside. So in a sense, when we have our standard page here, we launch our first modal. We're saying that this page is what is displaying the modal. Once we have a single modal open, if we add an additional modal, we're saying that we want to display that inside of that first modal and any uh, further modals, we do the same thing as well. So this allows us to launch as many modals as we want and they're just going to keep stacking on top of each other. Okay, so now let's look at the Angular example. Uh, I have that running on screen now and just to show you, it's more or less exactly the same as the Stencil.js version that we were just looking at. And the code is very similar as well, but there are a few differences. So we have our open modal method here. And again, we have our swipe to close uh, option here set to true. And our presenting element this time, uh, rather than being set to the component that is displaying the modal, we are setting it to the native DOM element for the router outlet. And you could find that in app.component.html. You can see the ion router outlet here. That's just what is responsible for displaying your pages on the screen. And if you're using the tabs set up, you'll need to make sure that you get the parent router outlet for this. So this will allow us to open a modal and display it in this fashion. Uh, but if we want to launch an additional modal from within that modal, we need to do something a bit different. So if we take a look at our modal.page.ts now, you can see that the presenting element in this case isn't the router outlet. We are actually using the modal controller, which we've injected into this component and we're using that to get the top modal and that will be our presenting element uh, as in the element that is being used to display the modal uh, inside of it. So what this means basically is that if we are to go back to our first uh, page here, uh, if I click open modal now, it's going to use this uh, page that is being displayed in the outlet here. Uh, it's going to use that to display the modal. Uh, but if I do uh, an additional modal on top of that, we're actually going to use the modal itself as the element that is displaying the modal rather than the router outlet, which is, a, a, which is what allows us to keep stacking modals on top of each other like this. And then we can just close them all again, get back to our starting point. The last example we're going to look at is the React example. And if we take a look at this one, that's what I've got running on the screen right now. It is a little bit different to the previous two. You can see here, what I can do is open my initial modal and I can also open an additional modal, but that's all we have uh, to stack. Now, the reason that I've set it up like this is because unlike the other two examples with Stencil.js and Angular, uh, with React, it's not quite as easy to just use the modal controller to dynamically add modals. Uh, in React, we're going to be using the ion modal uh, wrapper component and you can see here that we have to define it statically uh, in our page. So we set up each individual modal. Uh, and so basically you would need to set up 
each iron modal inside your template directly in order to get it to stack like this. So you could have more than three, four, five modals if you want, you'd have to add each one into your template if you're using this particular method. Now this is the default way to use uh, ion modal in React, uh, but it is possible to still use the modal controller to dynamically create multiple modals from the same uh, modal template. Uh, which would be much more in line with the previous two examples that we looked at. Uh, it's quite a bit more complex though, and I'm not going to cover it in this video. I'll be uh, releasing an extension video that covers that method uh, soon. Uh, so if you want to catch that one, make sure to subscribe. So now let's run down what we're actually doing here to get this uh, working. So it's the same basic idea as the other two uh, methods that we used. We supply the swipe to close to get our gesture working and we also supply the presenting element. So this is our first modal here. And you can see we've set up a reference to that called first modal ref. And the second one we've set up uh, without a reference at all. And we have our, our use state up here, which determines whether or not to show the modal. And so to display a modal, we just uh, set the is open to true or false. So these use state hooks here are going to change whether the first and second modal are being displayed. And then we just have our reference here set up to the first modal and a reference to this page itself. So that's sort of the key here. What we need to do for the first modal is say that the presenting element is the current page. So we use our page ref, which is the reference to the current page and we use that as the element that is displaying the modal. So if I say open modal now, it's looking at this and using the home page to display this modal. But for the next modal, uh, modal that is displayed, we're actually getting a reference to the first modal. So now the presenting element is this modal that has already been opened and we're going to use that element to present the next modal. And you'd use this same reference for any additional modals that you wanted to launch on top of this modal. So this method is uh, quite a bit uh, more difficult to execute than the previous two examples for Stencil.js and Angular, which both use the modal controller. As I mentioned, I will be uh, releasing an extension video that covers how to do this in a more dynamic manner soon. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.